All right, hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Spiral of the Dragon. In the previous episode, we took on Dark Hollow, and this episode, here we are in Town Square. So let's get to it, shall we? Okay, so right off the bat, before we get too deep into the things, there is a skill point for this level, and it requires a lot of en and it requires a lot of enemies. So I want to um explain before we get across. But first, let's take care of this dragon. Welcome to Town Square, Spyro. Begin exploring by gliding to that area with the bulls. Use the right stick to get a good look. So yeah, so as you mentioned, these are bulls. Um, their official name is El Toro, actually. But basically, the skill point is get the bull stuck, which is horribly vague. But basically, what you want to do is so we're gonna glide over, stop. And then we want to charge at them. Our charge takes priority over theirs. So if you charge them, you'll get their horns stuck. Um, so you don't want to flame them, actually, because if you flame them, you'll instantly kill them and you can't get the skill point. Because you need to get literally every bull that's in this level, every El Toro in this level stuck. Okay, here we have a new kind of vase, I guess. Basic, and I think it's the only game that made it appearance in. Basically, you need to flame it or charge it, and a gym will pop out. And from there, you want to jump and catch it, or else it's going to get stuck back in there. Like I said, this is the only game that made its appearance in. Honestly, it's not too surprising, because it's not that... It's more annoying than anything. It's like a waste of time, basically. Thanks, Spyro. <laughs> I have the worst itch on the tip of my wing. Did you know that you get your longest glides by pressing the jump button at the very top of your jump? Oh, that's a thing. I, I don't know. I didn't notice the T on that cake, so I thought it said Honks Spyro. And I was about to say, like, what? It's like, dude, whatever you're into, but keep it away from the kids. Anyway, this guy right here is a Torador. I don't think he's capable of hurting... Or is he capable of hurting you? Hold on. Okay, oh, yeah, he does a slap action. I never knew that, because, um, well, they're pretty pathetic enemies, and they have such a short range, so it's like I never noticed. But you probably saw that thief up there, so yeah, there is an egg in this level that we need to get, and the jump to get to that thief is, oh my god, that thief jump is so annoying. Like, you just barely make it a lot of the time. What the? You saw that? I was like... Uh... 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 What was that all about? He like, look at it, he like scooched them over even though his horns were like stuck in the ground. What was that all about? Uh... Okay then. We'll go with it. Okay. So we're gonna take care of the Torador. Charge the bull. And then I think there should be one more bull left. Um, one thing I don't know is, if you get the bull's horn stuck in the ground and then flame them, I'm not sure if you flame them afterwards, if that still counts. So I don't want to risk it, basically. <laughs> Spyro, do you see a man dressed in blue running around here? He's a thief, and he's stolen a dragon egg! You've got to track him down and, and get that egg! Run! Run! <laughs> I'm getting a little winded. What a pathetic excuse for a dragon. Anyway, so yeah, so now basically the beasts have officially been mentioned, but what you need to do is start from right here about. And okay, so you see that like little lower ledge right there? That's what you're aiming for. So you need to kind of like hug this column, but so often you're gonna like barely missed the jump because there's no, like, glide at, in the game. And what's really annoying is that Spiral can actually do, like, a little hover jump. Or, sorry, there's no hover in this game, in Spiral 1. But what's annoying is, Spiral sometimes do an auto-hover on his own, but he's, like, selective when he uses it. Like, if I can get it, I'll, you'll see what I mean. But sometimes he'll just kind of, like, run into it like an idiot. But you see, if he had a little hover, that would have been fine. I mean, I know they didn't want to, like, break platforms because this original game was designed without a hover, but, like, some of these jumps were just, like, 
real pains without it. Uh, or is it the lower? No, I'm pretty sure it's the higher one you need to jump from. Yeah, no, that one's too low, okay. So if this takes me too long, then obviously I'm gonna cut ahead, because, oh my god, this jump is so annoying. Yeah, you see, it's like, if he little, if he did a little hover, he would've just landed perfectly, but no, he got to charge his head into it like an idiot. There! I don't know... I don't even know anymore. Anyway, so, I'm actually not gonna chase after the feet this time around, because I want to collect all the gems first. And plus, I sometimes forget what path he takes, so... So yeah, so he's gonna run this way, and then he actually jumps down there, I believe? Yeah. Um, I think what I like to do... I can't remember exactly what I think I like to do is to drop on top of him. But basically, it's a long trek back if you need to chase him all over again, which is annoying. I would say this is probably the worst thief in the entire game, actually. I'll probably... I'd put my money on that, actually. Uh, oh gosh, what do I want to do? Okay, let's take care of this first, I guess. Let us take care of this Torador, or El Toro, rather. And there we go, skill point. Okay, this is another thing that's only been in this one game. This is like this propeller thing. What you want to do is flame it so much that it actually, um, blows off. And the little propeller thing that flies off can actually damage and kill enemies, which is pretty cool. It's actually useful in some areas. And the bull disappears. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. You can always check your progress by accessing the guidebook through the pause menu. What do you got access through the guidebook at the pause menu? Okay. I never tried from this angle before, so it's worth a try, I guess? But he can actually- Oh, never mind. Because I think what he was going to do is jump backwards, because, like, if you outpace the beat, what will happen is actually, um... He'll, um, go backwards instead. Or sometimes I think he'll actually, like, jump over you to, like, get past you. Basically, they'll do everything that they can within AI reason ability to, um, get away from you. But that was actually surprisingly easy. I've not, this that's easily the easiest feat I've ever of that run of that feat ever. So yeah, we got 100 percent that level, and that's it, I guess. That's I'm I'm legitimately surprised that the thief. I honestly thought that would take me a couple tries. Oh gosh, I guess that's what. Yeah, by the way, I'm still recording this on the day of Thanksgiving, being by myself. So I guess the solo mojo is running through me. Ugh. But alright, so that's Town Square. Now there's... Uh, where do I need to go? This way. There's one more level before the boss. And it's a special kind of level, actually. So if you want to be different, look forward to this. So if we go over here... Believe it or not, there's a level over here. How do you access it, you may be asking? What you need to do is... So there's a dragon and one or two more worlds that... I think two worlds, actually, that will explain this. Um, but I already know how to do it, so I'm going to explain it now, because it... I don't like that they take so long to explain it. Basically, what you need to do is... Jump on each of these without falling into the water. And after you do all that... That'll make a portal appear. It's so random that they did this, though. But anyway, in this episode, we took on Town Square. And in the next episode, we're going to be taking on the first of the flight levels, Sunny Flight. So I'll see you all then.